Captain Gravely had gone ashore from the Jewett at one point, and when he came back to the ship, the men on the quarter deck rang six bells, ding, 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 ding. When officers arrive, a bell is rung. And so he's listening and he's like, I'm going to talk to somebody. This is a mistake because I think I heard not the bell ring four times, but six times. Normally for a captain, the sequence is four bells, ding, 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 ding. And so his first thought was the quarterdeck watch has screwed up. And so his XO, uh, Commander Newcomb, is going to greet him with a really big smile and say, congratulations, Admiral Gravely. When he got aboard, he found out that he had been selected for rear admiral, lower half. He was truly shocked. The list had just come out. He wasn't, wasn't aware of it. And in his usual humble style, he thought, this can't be true. I'm too junior for this. This just can't be possible. And he was absolutely thrilled because all those days and nights at sea that he had put in, had invested in doing something he enjoyed, paid off, and he became the first black flag officer in the history of the United States Navy. He had a career of significant firsts almost from the beginning, right? Uh, and this will be sort of the icing on the cake, if you will, or one of the layers of icing, because he'll go on to retire as a three-star. He had earlier been the first black line officer captain. He had not set out to be a pioneer. It was just that the situations came along. He took advantage of them. The Navy gives officers the jobs that it thinks they will be able to do. And the performance in those jobs determines what comes next, a promotion to higher rank, a bigger ship, what have you. So that was really a great stamp of approval when he was selected for rear admiral. But for an African-American to reach the rank of rear admiral, I don't know who might have even envisioned that at that time. The year was 1971, think about that. There's an anti-war movement in society. The women's rights movement is more intensified. The black rights movement is more intensified. The anti-government movement. I mean, there's a lot of things going on in the 60s. There's a reason why it's called the radical 60s. And Admiral Gravely is selected to be the, the Navy's first African-American admiral. 